All right, so everybody knows what you should at this point. Todd finally decided he likes cats, and apparently cats <laughs> like Todd. Melissa sent us this video of her cat <laughs> named Little Man watching the forecast this morning. That's and adorable. Thank you for sharing this with us, and thank you, Little Man, for hanging out. Todd the Cat Whisperer. Who, Who would have ever match, guessed it? We're a match made in heaven. <laughs> yeah. Match I made in heaven. I love it. That's awesome, Melissa. Thank you. Yeah, I'm totally hooked. I mean, it didn't take long. I'm sure, I mean, you guys knew that was going to be the case. If, I mean, you, that's what you, were if saying you just could along. get you to cave, we yeah. knew. We well, knew. It took a while, but I finally did. All right, let's get started. Snow so far this season, the seasonal snow totals right about where we should be in Portland. That storm in Bangor got our numbers up closer to average, but still lagging behind and pretty close to the average snowfall in Caribou. However, there isn't a ton of it on the ground, especially in places like Portland and Lewiston, Augusta and Bangor, where we have less than 10 inches. And that's a tribute to, you know, how mild it's been. We've had these streaks of very mild uh, weeks and that's melted a lot of it away. I am happy to see, though, that the mountains and the far north, especially starting to see that snowpack grow and hopefully we can keep it around for a couple of months here and get into the spring so that we can keep having some fun out there. I'd like to see a little bit more along the coastline because I know that there are a lot of, you know, cross country trails that people want to get on and snowmobile trails too that are closer to the coast. So we've got a little bit of snow in our forecast, but a day like this, we're going to melt some of that away and see that snowpack shrink up a little. It's 32 degrees outside right now, right around the freezing mark. So the edges of the snow banks are going to be a little slippery, but we're going to get milder later on today. Low pressure chugs away. High pressure works in with a little afternoon sun. Doesn't last long. Our next storm system with small amounts of rain and snow move in for tomorrow. A quiet morning, a lot of clouds out there, but there is some refreezing going on and some fresh icy spots. So just be cognizant of that, especially if you walk this morning. Turns much brighter midday, temps rise above 32, so quite a bit of melting and softening and gets a little slushy in spots. Maybe you can get most of your driveway back, claim it back if you can. Afternoon and evening, pleasant. Patchy clouds, no precip, should be fine getting home. Tomorrow morning, we'll cloud up real quick, and then this storm system works in. Some snow showers break out by late morning, and then they'll flip to some rain showers during the afternoon along the coast. It should stay, though, all snow up in the mountains and maybe down into the foothills, too. Although it's just a weak system and it's fast moving out of here Friday night. Saturday looks great for anything outside. Have some fun this weekend for recreation. And then on Sunday, we talked about the storm for Sunday night, Super Bowl night. It's not going to happen. Still looks too far south to me. The jet stream unable to grab it and guide it northbound. So we'll miss that big storm. We may not miss the next one, though. That would be like Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, something like that. Here's the snow map for tomorrow, tomorrow night, one to three inches inland. And if we get a thin slushy coating at the coast, it either melts away or washes away with the rain for the afternoon and evening. Ball crafts are up, seas four to six, northwest winds 10 to 20 knots. There's the seven day, brighter afternoon in store for us and fairly mild temperatures too, 35 to 40. Tomorrow, light snow inland, a couple of inches. Along the coastline, we change to rain. Saturday, a mix of sun and clouds, mid 30s, pretty nice. Cold start on Sunday morning and then a decent finish, partly sunny. No storm Sunday night, but we will see some snow showers that bring in some really cold air. Highs only in the 20s. Watching something for Tuesday, that could be a storm system. We'll see how that unfolds. And it looks like it stays cold most of next week. A lot colder than this week. That's for sure, guys. All righty. We'll be ready for it. Thank you, sir.